Well, scientists making a discovery that could one day revolutionize how doctors repair damaged organs, and it is, and we're not just saying this, it's actually mind-blowing. Just listen to this. They found a way to build a sort of a patch of a human heart using spinach. The veins of the spinach leaf are used like scaffolding and heart cells grow around them. And the idea is to use the veins of the leaf to provide oxygen and nutrients to the cells just like human veins. Glenn Gaudet is a professor of biomedical engineering at Worcester Polytechnic Institute, WPI, you might hear him say that. He's co-author of this study and he was just beginning to tell me how he came up with this idea. And it is crazy, Glenn, in the best way. So please tell our viewers, where did this idea come from? So uh, we, we initially went to visit our colleagues at Arkansas State University where they have a lot of expertise in plants uh, and learned some of the neat things they were doing there with uh, plants. And then we went to the University of Wisconsin-Madison where they have a really neat uh, stem cell biology program, talked to our colleagues there, and then we got back home and we said, gee, how do we take advantage of all that the plant uh, biology has to offer to develop a, a patch for a heart? And so that's where it all started. And then uh, my graduate student, Josh Gerschlack, and myself have a lot of experience in decellularizing hearts. And so taking the cells out of the heart, but leaving the scaffold behind. And we thought, gee, wouldn't it be interesting if we could try to do that with, with plants? And one day we were uh, having lunch and there was some spinach there. And we picked up a piece of spinach and we looked at it and said, I like this vein structure. Uh, let's give it a shot. And so my graduate <laughs> student tried it and it worked. Sure. You're actually eating lunch, and you're like, "Wow, spinach, a heart tissue." I mean, that's, that's when you look back on that. That's that's pretty amazing, Glenn. What do you think? Yeah, I, you know, well, you know, we we in our we like to try to uh, develop what we call the entrepreneurial mindset in our students and get them to kind of think outside the box. And we like to practice what we preach. And so my graduate student and I uh, started thinking, you know, when we tissue engineer uh, a scaffold, a patch. There's no exi good existing uh, vascular system, system of veins. And so when you think outside the box and you take a look at spinach, when you hold it up to the light, you can see the veins there in that spinach leaf. And uh, it was just uh, kind of hit us that, gee, let's, let's give this a shot. And it worked. Um, you know, and like you explained, we hope that this here will one day be a treatment for uh, heart attack uh, victims, for victims that need heart transplants. Um, we can actually get cells to contract on that patch, so it's actually a contractile scaffold that has a, a way to be perfused with blood. That is unbelievable, and I really didn't think about, as has been mentioned in a few different articles, the really delicate system that's needed to get blood to different parts of the organ, and how, how delicate you need something to be to make sure that it does it efficiently. But when I think of spinach, I do think of making a salad, right? You can really easily <laughs> tear spinach leaves. so. Is that a risk? How do you mitigate that risk? Or is that just the way that really our bodies are, that we're actually that delicate as well? Oh, yeah, we're delicate also. Um, and you know, we don't have the capabilities, even with 3D printing, really, to get down to the fine details that uh, our heart muscle and, and other muscle has in terms of the pipes in the veins, our arteries in our veins. Um, and so the you know, nature has already done that. and. The spinach leaf transports water just like our body transports blood. And so we're really uh, glad we could take advantage of that. Wow. I mean, Glenn, unbelievable. Congratulations. So I only have about 20 seconds here. What's your next step in all of this? So our next step is we want to stack a bunch of these leaves together um, and use some of the stems to provide the blood flow and some of the stems to take them away and continue to develop these contracting patches and get them ready for uh, the patients that need them. I'm never going to look at spinach the same way. Go get them, Glenn. <laughs> We're rooting for you. <laughs> We're rooting you. for your team. We can't wait to talk to you again, and we appreciate the time today. Thank you very much.